stand up when that trying time comes and defend it even if they is gonna cost us our life. Claude McKay in one of his poems says, if we must die. Oh, let us nobly die, so that our precious blood may not be shed in vain. Then even the mo monsters we defy shall be constrained to honor us through death. Are we able, are we willing to stand even to the point of death? Christ sacrificed his life even to the point of death. So that today we all can experience that gift of salvation. He sacrificed his life and he is the ultimate example that we should follow. And if we look through the Bible, there are many apostles that sacrificed their life when their faith was tested before men. They go to the point of death, they were slaughtered, they were slain, but they didn't give up. They stand up and today their testimony are a blessing to us. They give up their life. Are we willing, if that time comes, to sacrifice our life even to the point of death? Volvinir Puntin says he has passed those laws that it is illegal to do those missionary works. If we should send to Russia to preach, are we willing to stand up to them? Are we willing, and if we're not going that far, are we willing to go into those inner city, those communities, to stand up and declare the Lord? Are we willing to go into our homes and to testify to our brothers and our sisters, our relatives, to defend our faith, to speak about the Lord? about their salvation. The, the, the word of the Lord reassures in Psalm 19 verse 10. It says, No harm, no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. Verse 11 continues says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord God will not leave us nor forsake us. He will not leave us, so therefore He will protect us, even in those trying times. So therefore, let us stand, and above all, to stand, to stand. And if that doesn't reassure you, He further says in Psalm 91 verse 13, He says, You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. You shall tread upon serpent and cover up. So therefore, no matter what, God is, is equipping us to tread upon whatever the enemy will launch upon us. He will equip us to tread upon them and to declare, Done, says the Lord. Bless the Lord. Those Hebrew boys stand and they were able to be victorious at the end. But even if, even if he does not, we want you to know. No, those are bold words. Those are mil that's a militant style. We want you to know, O oh King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set before us. No, that is extraordinary faith. That is extraordinary faith. And that's the third point that I'm going to. I'm closing here. That's extraordinary faith. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O King, that he, that we will not serve your gods or worship the uh, image of holy of Satan. Look here, man. That is standing up. Even if you go and cast us our life, we're not going to bow down to you. We need to tell the devil that we're not going to bow down to his circumstances. Even if it's going to cost us our job. Even if it's going to cost us friends. Or whatever the situation you might be in this morning. Or going to be in in the future. We need to stand up boldly and declare that. Even if we still not going to bow down. Even if it's going to cost us our life. We're not going to bow down. 
because our salvation is important here. We need to stand up as militant people and declare, God says the Lord. Imagine the attitude that came out of their faith. He says, Look here, we do not need because we know the God we serve. And this God is ordinary because He's in control. He's in control of everything. So look here, we're not talking about defending yourself. Show me that fire because I know that I'm going to come out victorious. Amen. I'm going to come out victorious. Can you imagine the pools? The pools that I'm stand up with. And even if they're not poor, can you imagine spiritually that they're, they're poor of faith? They were militant. They stand up with authority here with their faith. An extraordinary faith. 2 Timothy 2, sorry, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, for, the, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that is what we need to possess here this morning as we stand before the devil. And as we stand for wherever we might stand to declare our faith, we need to stand with power and authority as we declare our faith. Look, it's holidays coming up. And we might be facing all different circumstances. And we might be, we might be asked to be witnesses and declare the word of God. But the Lord God is saying here, we need to stand and declare our faith. We need to be witnesses wherever, in the hillside, the valleys, the inner cities, the communities, the sidewalk, at work, at play, at school, wherever you are. We need to declare, we need to declare the Lord. We need to be evangelists wherever we are. Talk to somebody. Invite a friend over. The, 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 the games are coming up. You might invite friends over. And whatever the situation is, find the time or look for the opportunity to declare the Lord or to minister to them. Invite an unsaved to come over and watch the games with you. It might be another couple and it might be sitting there and the, the two wives might, they might move towards the kitchen to, to, to prepare a lunch. If that person is unsaved, use that opportunity to talk to them. If you're there in your company, talk to them. Start a conversation. Declare God says the Lord. Be brave. Do not be timid in whatever you do. Talk to them. Let us start a conversation. Let us stand firm like the Hebrew boys and declare God says the Lord. We are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not be destroyed. Let us stand and declare the faith. Let us stand and declare, thus says the Lord, because we are brave people. We know the God we serve. We know that He's able to come through for us. We know that He is and He is always. He has done it before and He'll do it again. So let us declare the Lord wherever we go. Happy Emancipation Day and Independence Day. God bless you.